Gemini, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in, Gem, and see what messages Spirit has for you. Moving forward, we have the Wheel card, Two of Pentacles, King of Cups, Four of Cups, and the four, Five of Pentacles. Very interesting. So right now, understand that there's a decision that I feel like you're juggling, and this decision must be decided from a priority perspective. It means whatever is going on in your life right now, there's always going to be many things, but we must prioritize what's most important because we only have a certain amount of energy. And when we diverse our energy into too many different areas, then we start to lose ourselves. We start to not feel grounded. We start to feel sick. We start to feel icky. We start to feel like we're not in control. And then what happens is we start to become very overwhelmed at our lives and we don't take initiative on any decision. And so it's important right now to, right now in this particular chapter, you have a specific calling. This calling is exactly where you need to be in order to help progress you to the next chapter. So really look at your life now from an outside perspective. I want you to, if this is you in your life here, okay, this is here, you like Gemini, I want you to take yourself here and look at your life from a bird's eye view, okay, from an eagle eye, eagle's view. Uh, some of you might have eagle as your spirit animal for that to come up. So um, look at your life from a, uh, uh, from over top of it, okay? Remove yourself and look down on it. And then ask yourself, am I living my best life? And am I making choices that are leading me towards where I want to go? That's the thing that's most important right now. This will eliminate any form of scarcity thinking and any form of, is this going to work for me? Because it's really just a, to a degree of what attention we put into our where we want to go, right? And our brains are computers. So whatever question we ask our brains, that's what we're going to get. So if we ask our brains, what's wrong? What am I not doing? You know, what's happening here? Our brains will give us all of the what's wrong, right? It will just pile it on at us and it will just be very overwhelming. So instead, what you want to do is you want to ask your brain, where, what is it that I'm trying to achieve? What is my two-year goal? What do I want to get out of this? What's my, what am I looking to succeed in, right? What is my priority, right? Your intuition, your guides and angels will always come through for you. Uh, be mindful. It's only going to come in a one or two word answer. Okay. Um, and I feel like right now you're a little disconnected from your intuition. And in order for you to um, have uh, results with this decision you're looking to make, you must be connected to your higher self. Um, pay attention to your dreams right now. You know, whenever we pay attention and we're mindful of our dreams, it, it activates our third eye. Another way to activate our third eye, which is the uh, um, um, uh, intuition chakra, the intuition portal, what we want to do is run white light through the top chakra and out through the third eye. And you can just run light like a circle out and you can even floss it back and forth. Whatever feels good, feels really good, actually. And then you can take the light and go all the way down. You can go back up. You can play with it, have fun with it. But in order to really activate that um, intuition portal right now, Gem, you really want to get some light going in there or you want to start being mindful of your dreams. You just want to uh, take note of, of, of opening that third eye because when you have your um, higher self's perspective, or when you're living through your higher self's perspective, there are no difficult decisions. You know what has to get done. You're feeling balanced. You're feeling grounded. And everything you're looking to um, aspire in your life is going to flow right to you. Uh, right now, there needs to be a... Uh, you need to let go of something, whether this is a thought process, whether this is a um, you're doing taking on too much, whether you're maybe perhaps I feel like you're channeling your energy in, in not the right place. I feel like your energy is so powerful, especially as a Gemini. I feel like it's so powerful and it channeled into the right area of focus moves mountains. It's incredible. 
Now, in order to, to know what this is, you really got to sit with yourself and your intuition and your team of guides and angels, of course, and be like, what is my priority right now? Right now, as I stand, as I sit, as I am, what is my main priority? If someone, you know, I hate this, but it works. Someone pulled out a gun and was like, what's your priority, Gemini? What's the first thing you're going to say, right? That's it. That's what you want to channel your energy into. If you start to put it into that, that's going to start to release resistance because it's the number one thing you want to take care of. And that is what's going to fulfill your soul, feed your soul. When we release resistance everywhere else and we focus on that goal, then we can start to climb the ladder of others, right? Of other things. But I feel like there needs to be a narrowing down of what is most important for you right now. And then the universe will be able to come through. Because again, wherever we channel our energy, that's where we'll get the answers. And a lot of the times we're too scattered. We got too much thing, too many things going on. We're putting, we're, we're focused on too many different avenues, too many different areas. This could be good. This could be good. That could be good. And it's just, it's too much, right? And then we lose ourselves. So right now, very important for us to just get clear, confident with who we are, what we want, get ourselves grounded, uh, come from a higher self perspective, um, understand that when we are in our smaller self, what's going to happen is we're going to be taking things very personally. Anything anybody says, we take it personally. Anytime someone does something, we take it personally. That's how we know we're in our smaller self. And we're going to be judging ourselves, blaming ourselves, blaming others, feeling upset. When we are in this energy, nothing gets done. It's not productive. It's not a productive energy. So we really want to get out of that immediately. So that's why you want to be very aware of whenever someone says something or does something and you take it personally, you're like, oh, smaller self, let's get out of this energy. And you want to go and take action on an area of your life that is going to promote a stability and a safety and security of something that aligns with you. So maybe this is a walk in nature. Maybe this is exercise. Maybe this is journaling, learning something new. As a Gemini, learning something new is going to be very important because you're very intelligent, very intellectual, very, very wise. And if you're not constantly learning something new, Gem, you're not going to be in enhancing your spirit. Your spirit is going to be dwindled out. You must always be in a state of learning something new, constantly be taking notes, constantly be reading books or documentaries or uh, a skill set, something along those lines. Otherwise, you just won't be fulfilled. You will not be happy sitting and, and, and hanging out. That will just promote anxiety, especially as a gem. If you guys are just chilling, you're going to have a lot of anxiety, okay? And so it's important to make sure you're always moving and grooving, doing something, so that, evolving and learning so that you can progress and feel your best. That's all it's about is just feeling your best. Because when you feel your best, then you're able to pick up off the guidance of the universe. But when we don't feel our best, we're just trying to hang on for dear life. We don't know what's going on. And generally we make decisions that are not from our higher self, from our smaller self. And then we don't feel good about ourselves. We don't feel like we can trust ourselves. And it's this whole big cycle. We know how it goes, right? So First card that come out here is Chameleon Spirit, act as if. This may quite literally be a new time in your life. You're in a new time in your life where things are feeling extremely ungrounding. You have no idea what's going to happen. You've never experienced this before. Uh, maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a new time in your life. Um, you know, my friend, uh, one of my beautiful friends, she recently got pregnant. And again, this was big shock to her and her lifestyle. And this was something that was new. But a lot of the times when we don't have a clue, we got to act as if we do anyway. And we got to get real with ourselves. And we got to remind ourselves, okay, what the heck? We got to figure out what's going to work and what's not going to work here. I'm currently here at this time in my life. What do I need to do to be successful? What do I need to need to do to feel fulfilled? And it's going to feel new. It's going to feel scary. Again, just like as if, you know, you want to be a CEO of a company, right? But you're sleeping in and staying up late and, and ordering pizza at like 3 a.m. Okay, well, the CEOs definitely are up early. CEOs are exercising. CEOs are taking care of themselves with their proper fuel for their avatars, right? So it's important to see your role and see where you want to go and be that version of yourself today. Even though you're not there yet, you want to be that self today. My beautiful friend, she's not quite yet acting like a mother. She's on her way there. But when you get pregnant, you're a mom right? Right away, you're a mom. So you immediately want to act. You, you want to become that role. So you want to start already practicing that already in your day-to-day -day life. 
right? Same thing with everything. You want to be practicing it immediately because it's training. It's not, you don't jump into battle. You don't jump into the competition and haven't been training for it, right? So be mindful that this is the time of training, Gem. See what you need to put more energy into the training processes of. And of course, along the way, do not be hard on yourself. Be playful with yourself because if we are hard, if we are judgmental, or we are blaming ourselves or, or any kinds of these negative energies and we're just being so restrictive with our emotions, know that that will close close off your energy portals of receiving. You must find a way to have this human experience be fun to you, be rewarding for you, be exciting for you. Dangle that carrot. What do you need, Gemini, to make yourself feel excited? For me, it's espresso. I love espresso. So half the time in the morning, I don't even get up unless I know I've got espresso I'm going to make. There was a time when I quit it and it was great, except I didn't have that oomph. I wasn't ex necessarily that excited. My, my workouts, I love to have a shot of espresso and then I will go exercise. It's like my whole thing. I love it. If that was taken from me, I wouldn't have as much motivation in this human experience because that's what I like to do. So what is it that will give you that motivation? What do you like to do, right? What brings you excitement? Have that in your life, right? What if you don't want to go to the gym? You know what doesn't make me want to go to the gym? When I have clothes that don't fit right, right? Maybe I got old clothes that I got to wash or maybe I got gym clothes that just, eh, they're like, you know, my good ones are in the wash and I got to wear the old ones. It's not motivating. Go get yourself some proper attire so that you're motivated. Same thing for anything in life. Get yourself prepared. If we have the right tools for the task, we feel excited to do it. So just get yourself in a place of success and just know that success will follow that passion, that joy, that drive, and you've got nothing to worry about. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Gem. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.